Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about straps and review some of these straps which have been made available kindly to me by uh, two different companies. Now these are roughly in increasing order of costs. So, you know, I'm going to start at the low end and move up to the high end to the very right here. So uh, starting up uh, with time strap. Now these straps have been unboxed and introduced on uh, my Facebook page. So if, you, if you're a, a follower of that, you may have seen the, the unboxing introduction videos, but this is the, uh, I guess, the more full review. So uh, these straps are from time strap. Uh, .co.uk. Uh, so ostensibly they are a strap company based in the UK, but you know I, I think their products are quite clearly made in China or somewhere in that region. Uh, at least the one that were uh, mailed to me, they were postmarked from Hong Kong. So you know kind of in that region is uh, where the manufacturing will be to get uh, these, uh, I guess, reasonably priced straps overall. Uh, so these are uh, the time strap uh, what they call a uh, scales watch band uh, in leather uh, and, and you can see straight away they have this kind of scale pattern uh, I guess you can call that a, a crocodile pattern imitation uh, on the leather here so and this is how it fits on this watch this is the Vario Eclipse uh, watch with that very interesting Seiko quartz movement uh, with the four beats per second you can see that second hand be beating there so check out the review of this watch if you want uh, but you know this is the uh, straps sitting on it and they did send me uh, what I think is supposed to be a black but this comes out as slightly grey so some colours coming out there which is not bad and which is why I paired it with this grey watch uh, now the other ones they sent me uh, were blue as well which can be quite interesting if paired with for example my Invicta 9094 that might be something I could pair it with uh, but I'm just showing you the, the options here and this is I think a dark uh, brown color and I think it also comes in a red as well that's what they have available um, so the the strap itself uh, you know it says genuine leather 20 uh, millimeter there uh, stitching on the side there and it's it's a fairly I guess uh, you know common type of finishing but uh, probably I would say a step above uh, a lot of the Chinese mushroom brand straps you know this seems to be just slightly uh, that much uh, better made in terms of quality uh, and it comes in a stainless steel uh, buckle there so let me just try this on for the wrist shot now and there it is uh, the time strap scales watch band uh, on uh, my wrist there with this uh, vario watch so 20 millimeter is this one okay and it's been reasonably comfortable you know no complaints about comfort there uh, of how it performs Okay, moving up. So this one also from timestrap.co.uk. So this one, just to tell you, is a 20 pound strap. So that's the price on the site. Uh, you know, I'll put on discount coupons if I can find any. Uh, and I'm sure you might be able to find uh, some. They, they are typically on some discount. Okay, so this one is from Timestrap and this is called the, uh, uh, the Sharp Mesh uh, uh, Bracelet. You know, this is what really what this is is a sharp mesh as you can see here and you know reasonably solid and just to show you uh, they do actually uh, include uh, screw links you know so if you see the links here that are these adjustable bits that you can remove they are actually uh, screws you know the middle part is pretty generic I think you've seen this in some of the uh, Chinese brands Phoebus for example that I've reviewed uh, with uh, press metal uh, in a construction on the middle here and the push button release, uh, I've put this uh, uh, protective covering here just to stop it from scratching because that's where it's going to scratch most often. So it's a pretty uh, typical construction there and that's how you can see it. And this one I, I quite like, you know, I, I quite like the mesh because uh, most of the time uh, this lasts forever, you know, it, it can pick up scratches but you won't really see it unless it's very significant. And I put this on uh, this uh, spinnaker hull here which is a, a watch which I've really enjoyed you know this kind of panoramic type of look with the fume dial and sandwich loom there so let's just try this on uh, for the wrist shot and uh, that's how it looks you know this panoramic uh, kind of look and you know it's maybe not the most perfect match but you know I've enjoyed putting this instead of the leather strap that it comes in All right my wrist is 17 centimeters just uh, for information 
Okay, and that functions perfectly well. I've really quite enjoyed this particular strap. All right, now moving on to the next company. So this company uh, is Finwatch Straps, and it's a different level of uh, uh, premium uh, strap, you know, different level of luxury. Uh, so 20 pounds going up to 37 pounds uh, is, I guess, the asking price for the shark mesh there. And then uh, these ones really are, are not cheap straps. And I'll tell you the prices later. So, you know, this company handmade, handcrafted in Finland, based in Helsinki, and made to order. As, as I asked for them, they made it by hand and then mailed it out via DHL. So it certainly came very quickly. And there's a, a discount code right there. I'll put it in the description as well for 10% off. So let's have a look at the, the product here. So I put this on my Invicta. Uh, in this case, it's my 9403, you know, with the red here, uh, going with this particular strap for 20 millimeter, which is what I've asked for. So this is what they call a buckaroo tan in Halloween leather. So tapered leather strap. Halloween is a, a I believe one of the more well-known tanneries based in the US, that that's where it comes from. Uh, apparently they make very good quality leather. I'm not a very um, leather orientated person. I don't know too much about it. Let me know if you know more about this. I'd be fascinated to hear. Uh, but this strap, it kind of oozes quality. You know, look at the, uh, you know, the texture on the surface here. Um, you know, look at the, the suede on the back, you know, I, I believe this is what you would call full thickness leather. Correct me if I'm long, but uh, that, that really is what it appears to be. You know, it's kind of a raw piece of leather and you can see it's not perfectly straight because it is completely handmade, you know, stitching there and, and there. And, and you don't mind that, or at least I don't, you know, for this handmade product. Uh, and you can actually customize it to your liking, you know, the the length and the width of the uh, lug you know, fitting there, uh, the actual uh, length of the strap, as well as the choice of the finishing. So this is just in polished uh, steel here in the buckle. Uh, so, you know, lots of uh, quality coming through here as far as I can tell. You know, it, it's raw, so it doesn't even have the name of the company on the strap there. It might be a bit of weakness on the company's side, actually, for marketing. So let's just try this on for the wrist shot. And there it is, the Finwatch Straps Buckaroo Tan Hallween Leather on my wrist with this 40mm Invicta Pro Diver. And, you know, it, it, there's a different class of quality here. And just to let you know, this is a £65 asking price on this particular strap there. Okay, so let's just put that down and move up to the top of the range again from Finn Watch Straps uh, on my Orange Monster. I've chosen to put this strap, 20 millimeter again is what I've asked for. And this is what they call the English Tan Premium. So the premium range, hand stitched all the way around. Uh, and with this, you know, very, very premium looking brushed uh, steel buckle. You know, it's, this really is pretty solid. Yeah, and again, you have the choice of width of length the type of leather and they, they can make this in just about all the types of leather that they have uh, this one's english tan as i mentioned and you can choose a different type of finishing for the buckle as well uh, this one does have calfskin backing but again handmade you know no company name it's just pure leather there and and i believe this one if you look at the side here it's also a full thickness piece of leather there okay so quality again oozing through as you feel it, uh, but again, not cheap. You know, this is actually a hundred and twenty-nine pounds, uh, and I, I don't uh, know how you would judge this. Uh, whether this is, uh, you know, worth it. Let me know what you think and how what you would look for. You know, in your leather straps if you're a leather strap person. So let's just try this on for the wrist shot. And there we have the English Tan Premium Fin Watch Strap on my wrist with my orange monster right and it's you know it, it, it's a different level of strap you know something very different to uh, more the the factory made straps that you might find uh, from China uh, this is in a different league but you know you, you'd have to make a judgment of whether uh, you would feel that this is uh, worth it for the extra price that you pay handmade in Europe in Finland 
Um, so, you know, again, 20 pounds to 37 pounds to 65 to 129 pounds. That's the, the spread here. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. That, that's this range of straps. Again, thank you to Time Strap and Finwatch Straps for the provision. Uh, just to show you, lastly, Finwatch Straps comes in this kind of a sackcloth bag, you know, th th just a different level of packaging, you know, whereas this comes in just plastic wrappings. Um, you know, if, if you like leather straps, I'd like to hear your kind of opinions and views and how you would choose them, what, what you've bought for your watches. You know, these ones, I guess you probably wouldn't use it uh, for an Invicta, which is about the same price as a strap in this case. You probably want to use it in, in more premium watches, whereas this one, you can use it on anything. You know, I think this range of straps are a lot more affordable. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, um, do consider subscribing. I'm putting out new content weekly always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me, and as always, I'll catch you next time.